there. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Actually, almost almost good afternoon. It's uh-huh. almost noon. Coming up on lunchtime, yeah. Coming up on lunchtime, and we're going to do something a, a little different. A new place for us yep. to eat in. Now, we've eaten yeah. from this place. I've, I've actually out. done takeout and delivery. And it's in Fall River, a place called Asia One. Never eaten there, but it looks very nice inside. Yeah. And uh, for those of you who are new, we are Dwayne and Nidia, and we do local food reviews, uh, gambling, travel uh, vlogs, and uh, a lot of recipes and things from our kitchen. We do food, travel, and fun. Food, travel, and fun. And today, we're in the food category, another local restaurant. I'm hoping it's fun, though. Yeah, well, (laughs) food is always fun to me. So anyway, um, Asia One, we're in the mood for some Chinese or Asian fusion, and we'll show you. Asia One in Fall River. I'll show you what's supposed to be the best Asian restaurant Fall River has to offer. I hope so. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. So this is Asia One, the this best. The best. This is Fall River's finest. Well, let's hope that the uh, food and the um, decor, is a little more decor inside has a little let's more curb appeal. I've been inside, so let's go check it out. This is Asia One. I haven't eaten inside. I've only done takeout. Come okay. On. In the end, what, come on, you've been there at the far end of the Ave. I know you've been there. China Royal? It's China Royal. The old <laughs> China Royal. It's not there now. Yeah. I think now it's a Boston Market or a CVS. It's a whole bunch of things. Yeah. It's a CVS and a Boston Market. It's a bunch yeah. of stuff. And for those of you... And that's the Flatiron Building, the famous Fall yeah. River. Looks like a triangle shape. For you Fall Riverites, that is the first place where I ever put um, vinegar on my fried rice and there you fell go. in love. And fell in love, and now it's on chow mein and everything oh. else. So. Yeah. Anyway, gotta love the river. And it is good. I, yeah. I have to agree. The first time I tried it was really with you, and I'm no so complaints. sorry. I'm having a hard time holding this camera steady with my hand here. That's okay. Um, well, I don't have my selfie stick today, as you can tell. We'll be. Well, we're not far. We'll see you in a minute. We'll be okay. there. I think it's a Blue Lagoon Martini. Can we make sure? Yes, that's it. Blue Lagoon Martini. Okay. It's blue curacao, and let's see what else is in there. Uh, some vodka, some lemon juice, and simple syrup. Vodka, lemon juice, blue curacao, and simple syrup. Sounds like Sounds it's sweet. A sh- sure to be sweet. 
a lot of lemon juice. Not as sweet as I expected. A little sweet, but not a strong sweet. I will find something sweeter next time. I know you will. And me? And the old, surprise. Old standby. Franco Martini. Why, why mess with a classic? I don't know. You gotta be. Live the adventure. Live it up. So, so far, nice plate and actually nice, nice service. But my drink is great. Nice atmosphere. Big atmosphere. place. Very nice. And there's a whole room on the, uh, behind us. Here. I think there's a function room here. Yeah. But and um, we bought, we placed our appetizer order, and we're getting some rock shrimp. Yep. We're gonna share, I think, everything but except for the soft shell crab. I'm sure I'll have just that. And also gonna get some of our. We love to. We try them everywhere. Yep. And you, you have to have the uh, crab rangoons. Oh yes. Because you compare. Since we've had them everywhere, it's a nice thing to compare. I'm hoping for some great stuff, and then there's yep. more to come. Yep. So far, we're just waiting on the apps. Yeah. Here we go. The rolls, interesting. These are their cooked rolls, but look at this super lobster roll. Cowboy roll with filet mignon and shrimp tempura. And this one is lobster. I'm gonna try one of those. Definitely one of those. I'm definitely gonna try the spider roll. Spider roll for Dwayne, maybe? Grab, of course. Of course. And I'm not, actually, I'm going to get some flying fish roe, which is considered a sashimi, two pieces. And to be de to be determined. Yes. Sure. So probably something else. Yep. What one yeah, did you more. get? I didn't order or anything did yet. Which? I'm I want either the cowboy roll. Yeah. Or the Sheridan special. Oh, get the Sheridan. I'm going to spin that back for you, okay? because it goes in some of the crab. That's why I spun it. I just did pictures as usual. Would you like me to try something though? Here goes. What? These are only good when they're hot. Let's do right. those first. And I don't use the duck sauce. Oh, I love the duck sauce. I like the soy. But you notice me, I put the soy on pretty much all the stuff. That's a nice sweet, nice creamy, a little bit chewy on the wrapper, but the flavor is very good. Good. Your turn, you try one. But I'm going to spin that back for you, okay? Because it goes in some of the crab. That's why I spun it. I just did pictures as usual. Would you like me to try something though? Here goes. What? These are only good when they're hot. Let's do All those right. first. And I don't use the duck sauce. Oh, I love the duck sauce. I like the soy. But you notice me, I put the soy on pretty much all the stuff. That's good, a nice sweet. Nice creamy. A little bit chewy on the wrapper, but the flavor is very good. Good. Your turn, you try one. Mm. You're going to go with the duck sauce. Oh, always. Of course. You can even take that closer to you if you like, because I'm not going to use any of that duck sauce. No? I'm going to no? put it right on my plate then. All right, Ready? let's see what you think. Mm, you're right. It's not crunchy, it's chewy. Chewier. Yeah. I like it. But the filling... Mm, I haven't had a filling yet. Oh, get a good filling bite. Okay. She takes small bites. Well, the filling's good. It's very good filling, right? It's not sweet. It's creamy. No, I thought it was sweet. I had a bit, a bit of sweet to it. Maybe I can Because have you have the, the duck crab. sauce, maybe. Oh, the sauce is sweet. You're right. I use the soy and I could pick up the sweet. Mm. I like it. Oops, <laughs> I saw... You lost some of the filling. Good thing okay. it just hit the plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, your turn. You try your shrimp. Okay. While we got you going here, we're rolling all. Oh, come on, just use a fork. She won't, she has to do it properly. Okay. 
Ooh, it's coated in there. Let's see. Let's get. I'm gonna come in nice and close, just to the plate, and take a nice, good look. It is. It's coated in there. And they took. Your, is it a? They don't use a ponzu. What's that sauce? No, it's a yum yum. No, it's a rock shrimp sauce. It's a some Thai. Oh, look, they even took the tail off, which I oh, love. Oh wow! Great. All right. Well, let's see. You actually bite into that thing off of chopsticks. Mmm. Yeah. Sometimes when you get rock shrimp. It's really, really spicy. Yeah. And the shrimp is overly breaded. Not this one. This one's not breaded at all. Uh, it looks like it has a coating on there. Mm, very little. Very, very light. That does I have love a coating. It. Very, very little. It's better than but most rock shrimp. Very light. All right, usually my turn. rock shrimp tastes like popcorn shrimp with the sauce it's on it. It's usually got a much heavier batter. This is, this awesome. is a very light, fine batter. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try it. It's a flash fry. Very fast. Really and, quick. Yeah. There's no way for me to just, so I have to take a big bite. Nice, tender. The batter just gives it a little bit of crunch, but doesn't take over. The sauce is nice. It's a slight sweet, yeah. with, a bit of, with a bit of spicy. With Very a bit good. of chili powder, I think. Yeah, something. Although the shrimp itself is cooked perfectly. Uh, that shrimp melts in your mouth. That's awesome. All right. Well, since you got me going, here's what you've been waiting for. This is my favorite part. I love soft shell crab. I'm going to try this sauce. I'm not sure. I usually just stick with soy. A little louder, the radio. Yeah, it's a little louder. I... And? I need a better bite. That was all crisp and crunch. Mm. I need some crab. Slightly sweet. Nice. Cooked very good. A little heavy on the batter. And the, it's panko for sure. So it's a little bit strong on the panko. Mm. It could have been a little touch lighter on this crab. I think the crab should be more prominent. But, crab is crab, I love it. <laughs> so, that's our apps. We're going to enjoy while they're hot. We're going at it with his. Oh my god, look at that. I mixed. The sauce yep. with the soy, and I'm going for the gusto here. Mm -hmm. That was the best way, right there. So much flavor. It's the body part. It has a bit of everything. Very nice. She needs her glasses so she I can do. tell you what we did. I can't hear <laughs> you without ordered. my glasses. Yeah. It's all right. So. Our orders are in, right. and we got Tom Yum soup just to try it Tom because Yum, it's a good Thai, favorite. Thai hot and sour soup, right? Yeah. I also got something called the uh, Sheridan Special Roll, which is lobster salad, cucumber and mango wrapped in the soy paper, topped with avocado crab, and served with eel and special sauce from the chef. Yeah, it's a roll, sauce. so we'll see how that goes. Yep. And I got the. Uh, yakisoba noodles house special version. Okay, and I'll tell you what I got. What'd you get, Wayne? Sad, very sadly, they did not have toro. No which toro. Is fatty tuna. Any, if you ever see toro on a menu and you haven't tried it, it's probably going to be the most expensive thing. Try it, you'll never regret it. Toro is fabulous. I love sashimi raw salmon. I don't really like cooked, so I got some salmon. I like flying fish roe. As far as roe, which is eggs, goes, flying fish is probably the best. I love that one. So I got that as well. Um, I went with the spider roll. Yeah, me being Mr. Adventure, which is the jumbo shot shell crab. <laughs> some cucumber, some avocado, lettuce, and stuff called tabico. So let's try that one out. I don't believe I got anything else. I think I'm waiting to see how I feel. 
I might actually get something else. We'll see. So, oh, I should ask them if they have the vinegar, but we'll see. This looks really nice. I mean, look at this. Uh, excuse me. Do you have vinegar? Like, yeah, any any type. Thank you. Uh, oh, I'm drinking the Coke for now. I'll have another one. Oh, nice. Thank you. Okay, look, I see nice tomatoes, shrimp, asparagus. But it looks very different than the Tom Yum at the Thai restaurant, uh, this though. This looks a little... Oh, look. Is that scallops? Little yeah. Little slices of scallops. That's quite the... Tom, this is a nice-looking Tom Yum. Matter of fact, better. I haven't seen a better-looking Tom Yum. Let's taste it. Now, it's really your favorite? Yes. But I'm in for the, for the flavor. Okay. And I'll try that tomato. Oh, my. You know what? What? This is darn good Tom Yum soup. Okay. Even without the vinegar. It's so good. Is it spicy? I'm going to try a little scallop, asparagus, and tomato. I've never had asparagus in Tom Yum. First time for everything. Nice and tender. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to love this. Your mm -hmm. turn. All right. I've never seen it with tomato hunks in it. Tomato or well, asparagus, right? It's got a nice. It's got a chili um, undertone to it. I'm going to try the Let's sauce. The broth, first. broth first. Go ahead. It's really good. You definitely taste the fish sauce. Mm hmm. Very not salty, which is a really good thing. Sometimes it's a little too salty. It is missing the sour for me, and it's missing the heat. But that is preference. That is just my taste but, buds. This. But it's very flavorful. From straight out of the kitchen. That's some really, really. I dropped this. I like extreme flavor, so. Yes. Mm. Nice scallop. That was very good, right? Mm -hmm. you still got a big shrimp to work on or two. And... He brought us vinegar. Ah, here's the vinegar for you. Oh, look, he brought it in a little boat. Yeah. There you go. Tom Yum is hot and sour soup, but it is the Thai style. Yeah, this one had a, a slightly different name. Tom it wasn't yum. just Tom Yum. Tom Yum Goong something. Goong some, yes. I'll try the asparagus. There you go. Wow, the vinegar brightened that up. Major. That's good. The only thing it's missing for me is a little spice. A little bit of, Any little bit of heat. Yeah. That's okay. We probably could have asked. We just didn't. Mm. The asparagus is good. I don't know about now, the tomato, though. No. There's something about tomatoes floating in soup. Uh, have you tried a piece yet? No. Is it good? Go give it a try. Remember, tomato's acidy. Ooh, the tomato tastes good. It does taste good. So try it. It actually could use a drop more for me. Okay. Well, go try easy. Because I know you like the vinegar a little stronger than I like it. I do. I'll try, I'll, if I see if I can get a just shrimp. Get a, I'm going to just get my broth now. With some broth. Oh, the broth is getting much closer to To the way you like. Thank you. <laughs> so, we have a little pepper for us. Plain black pepper. I haven't pepper, tried but the vinegar yet. I do have the unmentionable in but, my... And I haven't tried a, um, a shrimp yet. You didn't have so, Here we go. Uh, much brighter with your vinegar. A slight chew on a shrimp, but that happens with shrimp that spends any amount of time in hot and, and, and in soup, yeah. So, all things to be expected. Very good. I really like the tomato in it. Yep, I know. She's she frank. Sacrilege. She added her franks. Could not resist. But Try it with a. Again, see, can you get a shrimp? Oh, I am getting no. a shrimp. Yes. There you go. And that's all curled up. You have to taste it now. I will. I'm sure I'm going to love it because... Two thumbs up. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You can't get two thumbs up if you can't don't have a good base to start with. Oh, no. This is probably perfect for everyone. It blows their mind, but 
I am a spice a yeah, sour. We bowl. like a little extra on all our flavors. And look what came in. Our sushi platter. So on the bottom right, that's the flying fish row. Next to it's the salmon sashimi, followed by the spider roll to the left of that. And going up, there's Nidia's special lobster Sheridan, lobster. Sheridan roll. roll. So I will, I'm really interested. I always try to have to do a slight taste. I recommend this to anybody. Taste the wasabi before you just go and use it because some places it's very mild, other places, you can't breathe. So taste it first. It's always a good plan. I really want to dig into that, but I'm going to have the final tasting of Nidia's perfected Tom Yum. A little extra Just sour, a right little extra pepper. You know what? What? Very good, but because of the extra pepper, I could have gone less sour from the vinegar. Wow, you like the pepper so, though. I like the pepper, the vinegar, because the pepper I that type of pepper has a little like a vinegar acid to it. Mm -hmm. I think it pushed it a little too high for me. For you, I know it's perfect. Good broth. But it's still really good. Huh. Great All right. broth. You want me to try anything? Uh, All right, give me a minute, I'll put a plate together. Okay. I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna have a little ginger. Maybe it's, how is the wasabi? Not medium hot. Medium. And I'm gonna try this bite-sized piece. Which I'll, it's this right here. Look at that. That's what it is. Okay. The lobster. She's got a little ginger. She's got a little tiny wasabi, and it's gonna be a big bite for her. She did it. Mm. She's liking it. They're pounding over there, but that's them working. It's very okay. Very fresh. It's very nice. Very fresh. Very clean burst of seafood flavor. Mm. I haven't tasted a lobster salad inside. Yeah. Mm. It's nice. Really good. And I noticed they put like the, um, that Pollock type lobster or crab, so they kind of drape no, it over the, the top. that's the lobster, fake lobster. The, the lobster inside is real. That's the, the That's crab. what I'm saying. It's draped over the top and inside is a lobster salad. Lobster salad. But that gives it a nice effect and probably a little bit more lobster-ish flavor. I just know it was good. So, all right, I'm gonna start trying some things. Yes, I tried one. It Off was camera. it was a bit much. It was so big, but it was awesome. You're gonna start. With a nice piece of salmon sashimi. Yep. So I'm gonna go. I'm, a lot of times I add other stuff, like I'll add the wasabi, but I just want to just have some salmon. Very clean, very nice, very nice very fresh, fresh flavor to it. Yeah. You know what's missing? The stuff. <laughs> and try my roll. I will try your you roll. You saw it on the menu and you said Nidia try the Sheridan. I did. Special. Let's see if I can uh, get act little like pieces. A pro. Get a piece. Let's see. Uh, you did it. Voila. Alright, give me half a sec to put my stuff and we'll come right back. Here he goes. Normally I try to do it with this. You know what, if you're gonna have some fish row, use it. There we go. That's a nice combination of flavors. Good. Even with, excuse me, even with the little bit of mango they add, I usually don't like the sweet. In with my sushi. They didn't overdo it. They did a nice... Yours has mango in it? Yours has mango. I didn't taste any mango in that. that. That's what I'm saying. They did a nice mild amount of it. It's very clean it's a, fish it's a, seafood. It's an accent. When you try your next piece, you, you see. It's very good. What are you doing? So I'm doing my little spider roll. Adding a little bit of... I added a piece of ginger. I added a little... All right. Of your fancy fish roll. This is that mix of soy plus the sauce that they gave me with the crab. And I'll try to do it properly. Let's see if I can yeah. do my thing here. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that looks good. Looks great, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm, smoky. Yum. I'm, I had some chicken and a little bit of bok choy and it's got a really good smoky. That's soba. Soba is better. Well, I like udon, but soba is smoky and delicious and little. It's almost like your angel hair smokiness, right? And hot. Oh, right off the walk. Look at that. Really nice. Great Someone's work. a happy camper. Oh, yeah. That's some soba. All right, hon. It's all you. No soba glasses. Noodles. We can hear you without it. <laughs> okay. Um, I love udon. The big, thick um, yeah, the noodle. Japanese noodle. I love it. But it gets a little pasty after a while. It's very, very thick. It's really wide. This is, like to me, the angel hair of Japanese noodles. Yaki soba. And it's very, very it's smoky. Coming. They put it in a very hot wok. And this is their special, yeah. uh, which means it has meat, it has beef, chicken, and beef. Ooh, it's a secret. I'm surprised they put this in the it. This is their house soba noodles. They used everything they had. They put it in there, and boy, she's going to let you know what she thinks. You're going to love the soba. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's smoky from the hot wok. Mm. They must reuse that wok a lot, because wow, what a great you don't need to smokiness. Add anything to this. No. no salt, no pepper, no nothing. It's good to go. And these are actually thinner soba, soba noodles than I had just recently at Ichigo Ichi. It is a these, rice noodle, right? It is, but it's also very thin. Yeah, this it's almost like an angel hair. The one uh, um, Ichigo is a little thicker. Yeah. You had some? I, yep. This is almost like. Angel hair and minus one. The smokiness is like double Ichigo. It is really yeah. good. I mean, nice. the smokiness of a good uh, Chinese um, a Chinese noodle, right? It's mm -hmm. supposed to be really good when you smoke it up in the wok, but because this is so thin, right? Yeah. More thin than the little main noodle, which is like spaghetti. Yep. This is so really it's good. less starchy and more flavor. Oh, it just seems to be everywhere. So she's going to work on that. And? And I'm going to continue to work on this. And let's see where we end up. I have a feeling I'll probably be closer to everything gone than she will. But I'm probably going to have to break down and help her a little because, wow, that was good. Look at that. Look at her. She's, she's, normally, this is the point where she makes a funny face like, ugh, I'm full. I can't oh, eat. I've been and instead, myself. she's making a face like, oh, I'm about to dig in. This is going to be awesome. Oh. Yeah. It's good. And you love your pasta too, but this is just over this the is top. Better than pasta. Oh <laughs> my god! Mm. Well, yeah, I know it's good. It's, oh. Every bite you can make a little different. I love that when you can do that. So enjoy, what? baby. We're gonna we're digging in. The full Monty. Yeah. So I took my salmon, and this time I really I put everything on it. I put the sauce, the wasabi, ginger, and the roe, just because. It deserves that. Mm. It's so soft, tender, fresh, and now I'm just getting all of those flavors. That made it very nice. Love it. Wayne is getting full. Look at I this. I probably put too much wasabi because I put wasabi, put other stuff, and then decided to add more wasabi. More wasabi. So if I make some faces here, okay. This is. I am not faking it. And it's a medium hot wasabi. So. I made it. Good. I'm okay. I got a little bit of that nose, thing, yeah. but not overwhelmed. And please excuse all the ambient noise. We're right next to the sushi chefs that are, yeah. I think, hammering away a piece of salmon or something, right? They're working in back there. Yeah, yeah, they're working back there. We've done a good job working on this. My soba noodles were amazing, but I am stuffed. Oh, Dwayne's going in. I'm going in. Some good stuff. Smoky shrimp. And noodles. 
That's going to be his dinner because we came here for lunch. You know what happens? We go out to lunch and then I can't eat dinner till 8 o'clock at night. And you have leftovers. It's good, hon. Uh, Oh, great. Oh my god. <laughs> and? I think, as expected, I got through it. You made a good dent. I will say, you put a good dent and I had a few bites. Yeah. But I was making sure to enjoy my sushi, sashimi, and sure enough, it was great. End to end. And we're going to have to uh, somehow mute the Taylor Swift's greatest yeah, hits we'll playing in the background. Get Taylor somehow because yeah. I'm sure she won't be happy. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> so we uh, give this place. Thumbs up and we will definitely close outside once we leave. We'll let you know. Yeah. The rest. Damage has been done. Oh yeah, that's the aftermath and there's pretty much nothing. Nothing left. but a few soba noodles left. That's about it. Yeah, that'll go nice as a side to something later on. Yeah, agree. All right, so here we are. That's it. Tokyo, Tokyo Steakhouse. Steakhouse. It was awesome. Never the great lunch. It's really a good lunch. Uh, like I said, you saw. I finished everything I could, and I think if I had room, I probably would have finished even the soba noodles. <laughs> but I'm stuffed. I would. I would say I recommend this place, not just for lunch, but uh, even the price in the end was great. Yeah, no, it was very the, fair, absolute across the board. Quality of the food was very good. I, we paid a lot more for similar sushis. Yeah, at other place, at yeah. other places, absolutely. So, uh, hey, that's it for this time. Until next time, Dwayne and Nadia, Food Travel Fun. Tell your friends, like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Hopefully, you're there to see it. Thanks. Bye. Bye.